So I came across this idea the other day. I think it was Aristotle who put it out there, but it was this notion that human beings don't care about spectacle. What they care about is ecstatic understanding, understanding, comprehension. In other words, cognitive ecstasy, defined as an exhilarating neurostorm of intense intellectual pleasure. The book The Ravenous Brain talks about this idea that consciousness is obsessed with pattern. Pattern is structure. Structure emits the chaos, a signal in the noise. And when we find patterns, when we connect the dots, we experience this cognitive ecstasy, this exhilarating neurostorm. And, you know, we get children, you know, they're young, they're learning all the time, they're creating new synaptic connections. They experience this cognitive ecstasy, this curiosity, this insatiable drive to understand is, 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 is on fire, is fervor, is feral in little kids. You know, imagine the first time you look at a microscope and you see that cosmos revealed for the first time of the microscopic. Or when you look through a telescope and you all of a sudden see the cosmos of the macroscopic. You know, perhaps the best line was Ross Anderson's description of the ontological awakening provided by the Hubble Space Telescope's images of the deep field. He said, through the sheer aesthetic force of its discoveries, the Hubble distilled the complex abstractions of astrophysics into singular expressions of color and light, vindicating Keats' famous couplet, beauty is truth, truth beauty. And the sad part, as Sir Ken Robinson says, is that we lose this when we grow up, you know, that our educational institutions are failing us. They're not providing the context for this curiosity to explode, to continue to emerge indefinitely. Instead, we slowly die. And I think our goal is to create media, to create content, to create spaces that allow us to stay curious, to stay alive, to awaken the wonder junkie in all of us, to unleash the brave, reckless gods within us all. That is my goal. That is why we make shots of awe. That is why I love the TED conference. That is why we're here. That is what we live for. <sighs> Moves me every day.